Hi, today we're going to be taking on Boston some review at uh, Hasbro's Bayboy Burst Evolution Switch Strike DR31 TB04 Cod Knight C3 Attack Type. And then you know, DY Sunrise WBBA. Okay, this one's gimmick is it has a weight shift. So let's see if we could get it to zoom in. Right there. So it's the way it's supposed to shift. And then on its driver, it has attack or stamina mode. So, is that, I'm sorry, I told you it's attack type, I mean balance type. It's a balance type. And then, they, and then you know, the barrierburst.com. Attack is an 8, burst 2, defense 1, weight sets, agility 7, stamina 0. Let's go ahead and open this one up. So we get our launcher, a new left right launcher, new whip cord, our instruction sheet manual, and then we get our bay. So we have Cod Knight C3, which yep this is the right way because you want to have that little dot on top and then there's the eyes on the bottom. But in Japan, Cod Knight C3 was called. Let's see what the. Was called Arthur Coronis Sits Meteor Trans. So Hasbro. So this being Hasbro, it's Cod Knight C6 Meteor Trans, or Takari Tomi, Japanese one. Arthur, Arthur, Corona, sits media Tran. So, they just took the word Arthur off of this and changed Coronas to Quad Knight. So, yeah. So, if we actually take a look at the bay, we kind of got little eyes down there. We got like little blades around the side, which kind of matches the user's. The character that uses the bay. Also, I don't know we have like little cods and gears in here, which I guess cod for the Hasbro one kind of makes a little more sense because it does have like little gears and cods and wheels in there. Although, since it's supposed to be kind of a time bay, Cronus means time, you know, that makes more sense. And there is a little set to a minute hand in here. As we can see a little bit better. And then the sign for the God chip. It's a little biohazard. Which is odd. But pretty cool I guess. And it's little given is that this just spins around. Don't really know why, but that little blue part on the top, if I grab from the 
bottom and spin it. We now locked it in. And now that blue switched to a red. So as you can tell, now it has like little spikes on there for more of a wing defense. And if we switch it back, and I guess it still has a wing defense. I have no idea what the heck that thing is supposed to do. Then we have our force disc, which is six, represented by the bit number six on the sides. Which, wow, that is kind of bright on camera. But what was that? You know, the six little wings on each side. Well, you know, six wings all together. And then our flame. A little plastic flame here, or PC. Is M, which stands for Meteor. So that's how we get four sticks, six, and flame, Meteor. So six, Meteor. Sits because there's six wings on here for the forged disc and a meteor for the black, you know, flame. And if you twist this, which I guess I did have twisted the right way, although it seems like it's not quite there, you could push it down and unlock this. Although this one seems like it's been cut in the wrong place or that they didn't cut it deep enough to actually unlock it so uh, I think this one you gotta kind of let at the top to unlock it so when you're unlocking it you know the force disc from the flame do kind of let at the bottom and turn it this way line it up and then you can unlock it so like I said Force this, sits, because one, two, three, four, five, sits. And this is M, as you can quickly see the M there, for Meteor. So let me go ahead and line the disc up. So you just line the disc up just like how you line up with these bays. Push it down a bit, give it a turn. That this is on there. And then we have our driver. Which our driver is kind of weird. The little symbol on top of the driver. It almost looks like a push knife. If you ever seen what a actual push knife looks like. You know where it's not like a leather pocket knife. It's kind of like a knife that's got like a little T-shaped hand that you got to hold it in. And then you got to like push to stab. It's not really meant for like cutting or slashing. It's more meant for like poking and stabbing. I guess maybe like a shank. <laughs> kind of like a prison shank. That's kind of what it reminds me of. The little push knives. That's kind of what the little top of this one was like. A push knife. And the driver is called... Trans. So... You know that's supposed to be a... T on there for trans it doesn't look anything like T it looks more like a push knife and trans depending on how you twist this until it quits there it is with a little point out which is a stamina mode so when it has the little point, that's stamina mode. And then if we uh, turn it back. Which is, oh my god, that's hard to twist back. But if we do twist it back, it retracts back to be kind of like a whole flat almost. Kind of like what we've seen with, uh, I forgot what it was, something Pegasus. Wing Pegasus? Or something like that from the metal series. It kind of has like a little hole flat going on there for a tat type. And just before I don't forget, or before my camera cuts out on me, let me see if that's the right way. Yep. There is the QR code 
for Cod Knight C6 Trans, C6 Meteor Trans, or Ultra Coronas C6 Meteor Trans.